Hello everybody, my name is Sergio Angelis. I'm the president and co-founder of Lawman Observer, uh, and I'm here today with Lisa Nobluck from uh, the city of Lawman, who's a sustainability coordinator. Hey, hi. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. Are you so enjoying nice. this perfect sunny day? It's beautiful today, yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, so I have some couple questions about uh, sustainability. Great. Um, so why don't we just kind of get started, and um, why don't you kind of just give an a synopsis on what the sustainability plan is for those who are unfamiliar with it. Sure. Uh, yeah. So before I jump into what the sustainability plan is, I usually just like to give people a brief definition of how we view sustainability itself because okay. it's a pretty big word. There's a lot of ideas and conceptions that people mm -hmm. have about it, but really at its very core in the way that we look at sustainability in Longmont is that it's meeting the social, environmental, and economic needs of the present generation without sacrificing the ability of future generations to also meet their needs. Okay. So planning and building for today while thinking about future okay. impact. And that's what's known as the triple bottom line in sustainability. Gotcha. Um, and so a lot of people think mostly of the environmental aspect of sustainability, mm -hmm. but the economic and social pieces are just as important. Okay. And the economic vitality side is looking not just at maybe what you might think of as economic development, but economic diversity. So making sure we have a, a lot of different types of jobs for a diverse workforce that helps create resiliency in our mm -hmm. economy also. And then economic security, making sure those jobs are good jobs so that people can have a secure and dignified livelihood in Longmont. Okay. And then also the social side, which is ensuring that all of our residents really have access to the resources they need to thrive. So everything gotcha. from jobs and education to affordable housing to the ability to live in a healthy, clean and safe environment. So that's kind of big picture sustainability. Mm -hmm. The sustainability plan was created in 2016. Uh, we went through a pretty uh, robust community outreach process and came up with our vision for a sustainable community, which mm -hmm. is an engaged community no. <laughs> um, that promotes this, the social equity, environmental stewardship and economic vitality okay. uh, to create a sustainable and thriving Longmont. So that serves as the foundation for the sustainability plan. Uh, and then the plan itself contains 10 topic areas, which are uh, air quality, building and environment, community, economic vitality, energy, food systems, natural environment, transportation, waste, and water. Okay. And each of those topics has uh, really uh, specific targets, objectives, strategies, and timelines that we follow. It was really developed to be an action plan mm -hmm. uh, to really get Longmont on the path to sustainability over the next five to 10 years and okay. kind of what can we do and achieve in that time frame. Um, so that's kind of the foundation for the plan. Each of those topic areas, even though they're kind of set up like chapters, mm -hmm. um, sustainability really looks at what are the interconnections across those. So obviously okay. all of them overlap with each other and we look for strategies that have multiple benefits across a lot of different areas. Okay. Um, so I guess talking about the present, um, mm -hmm. what are some of the goals that the city of Longmont hopes to achieve in 2018 in regards to sustainability? Sure, so I would say we have uh, two main focus areas that we're looking at for 2018. I wouldn't say that we plan to achieve anything big in 2018. We're only a year into implementation. Okay. So, but the steps that we're really looking to take in 2018, the first big piece is focusing on our implementing our greenhouse gas reduction strategies. Okay. So the city just completed its first greenhouse gas inventory, which probably doesn't sound super exciting mm -hmm. to a lot of people. Uh, but it's a pretty important tool for us to understand where the majority of our greenhouse gas emissions, which are really pollutants, come from. Okay. And which are about 50% from electricity, 20% from natural gas, and 30% from transportation. Mm -hmm. And if folks are not familiar with why we should care about greenhouse gases or try to reduce them, kind of the quick and dirty is that the greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, are part of our atmosphere and they form kind of like the roof of a, of a greenhouse mm -hmm. and sunlight from the sun comes down and heats up the earth and then at, during the day and then at night that heat is released and some of it goes back up through the atmosphere and some of it stays and that's what helps create the, the nice temperature and climate that we're all accustomed to okay. and when carbon dioxide and those other greenhouse gases increase that mm -hmm. effect also increases so the trend over time is to see warming that okay. happens uh, not to say there's not fluctuations or there's not cold spells, any mm -hmm. of that, but the trend over time is warming. So the likely effect for Colorado is to, because we're already a dry area, mm -hmm. is to see um, potentially more 
uh, things like droughts and wildfires and floods and extreme heat days, which can have a lot of negative impacts on our population, especially mm -hmm. our vulnerable populations. So it's really in our best interest to try to keep our greenhouse gases in check so we can plan and build and adapt for a resilient community. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, the, the biggest portion of our greenhouse gas emissions is electricity. So our one of our big highlights for this year is that City, city Council in January uh, put forth a resolution calling for Longmont to transition to 100% renewable electricity yep. by 2030. Right. Uh, so that'll take a big chunk of our greenhouse gases and we're already pretty well on our way to that. Um, Platte River Power Authority is bringing on about 50 percent or about 150 megawatts of additional wind by 2022 mm -hmm. and some additional solar as well so we should be close to about 50 percent by 2022. Awesome. So we're doing pretty well great. with that which is great. Yeah. Yep. And then the other big focus area is launching our sustainable business program. Okay. So we have a new person coming on board in just a couple of weeks here and their focus will be working with the business community on all of our economic vitality strategies mm -hmm. but really getting that program off the ground okay that'll provide resources and uh, connect businesses with rebates and incentives and how they can employ sustainable practices in their businesses awesome very so, cool yeah. so going back to um i know you just mentioned the 2030 mm -hmm. is it resolution yes okay it's a resolution. did did that affect what you guys were what you guys had planned out for already or or is it just kind of did it help streamline anything or from the sustainability yeah side? yeah it just helped streamline so when the plan was initially done we had a focus in general on just increasing our renewable energy gotcha. mix and uh, subscriptions to our existing renewable energy program that people can sign up for mm -hmm. um, and obviously maintaining that focus on you know reliability and affordability which is kind of the, the social and economic mm -hmm. aspects of, of sustainability um, but that helped really put a more specific target on our on our um, timeline okay yes. gotcha so, mm -hmm. okay um, so I know you mentioned that there are 10 areas um, that the city of Longmont focuses their efforts mm -hmm. is there a priority area in one of these 10 <laughs> sure. Uh, I wouldn't say that there's a priority area. There's work that's happening across those 10 areas. Okay. Um, and we're launching a sustainability and Envision Longmont like indicators mm -hmm. dashboard later this summer. And okay. so that'll be the place that, that is really our reporting to the public where everyone can go on and see kind of how we're how we're doing in each of these areas. Mm -hmm. uh, and but as I mentioned before, there is a lot happening in the area of energy, not because necessarily it's a higher priority, but because there's a lot of support and opportunity. Uh, so that's kind of part of how we prioritize things currently, because uh, we're a small staff and we only have so many resources. Mm -hmm. So we really have to focus where there's that opportunity and, su and support where we can really push things forward. Yeah. And then there is a lot of focus on the community side of things because that social equity piece is a really foundational piece to the sustainability plan. And we see it as really critical to building a sustainable community. So mm -hmm. we work a lot with our community services department. Uh, we have a person over there that's actually half time that's devoted to like neighborhood and community based level sustainability. Okay. Uh, so that's a big focus also. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, so. To, to say bluntly, <laughs> why, why should the city of Longmont have a sustainability plan? Uh, sure. <laughs> why do we need one? <laughs> well, really, it serves as as that framework and that guide and roadmap to get us to our sustainability vision, which I mentioned earlier, yeah. of, of that engaged community mm -hmm. um, around the triple bottom line. And without having a plan, we don't really have a roadmap to okay. get there. And then the city was doing a fair amount of stuff before I came on board and before we had a sustainability plan, mm -hmm. but there wasn't coordination that was bringing all those things together and the plan okay. helps us do that. Awesome. Um, so how does the city of Almont go about implementing this giant plan, <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> multi year plan? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I'm as a sustainability coordinator, my role is to oversee implementation of the mm -hmm. sustainability plan. And even though I'm the only full time person currently, I wa work with awesome folks across our organization and with external partners and coordinating all of those people to come together and go through each of these strategies and figure out how we can meet, move each of them okay. forward. So that's kind of the overarching. And then I provide quarterly progress reports to city council. So, mm -hmm. and those are also available on our webpage so people can go on and look at each of those strategies and see you know, what the status is and any updates that are happening okay. there. And then we have two entities we have the board of environmental affairs which is the council appointed board of residents mm -hmm. that also helps to oversee the implementation of the plan so okay. i uh, and, the, and the staff liaison for that and report on the sustainability plan to them 
And then we just, in the fall of last year, launched a sustainability coalition, which brings together a broader group of folks from the community to provide a more diverse uh, perspective on feedback of the plan and mm -hmm. help really with that outreach and education piece to get sustainability messaging more broadly out into the community. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the challenges that you guys have had or are currently facing with the plan in general or implementing the plan or maybe some other <laughs> other things? Sure. <laughs> um, so as we're only a year in, so okay. we're still, you know, pretty, pretty new mm -hmm. to all of this. I would say that the primary challenge so far is just capacity because it is, it's a big plan there's lots of work to do mm -hmm. um, like I said I'm currently the only full-time person even though I have folks across the board uh, and like the, the half-time person in community services mm -hmm. and this new half-time person that's coming on um, but there's still only so much time that we have in the day gotcha. and there's a, a lot of work to be done so uh, that's probably the biggest challenge I would say is just you know figuring out how to best prioritize the time so we can keep moving things forward mm -hmm. um, but it's also a great opportunity for us at the same time to look at how we engage the business community and residents and neighbors and neighborhoods and all of that kind of stuff because it really does it's a citywide community-based plan mm -hmm. and it really you know is going to take everyone participating to get the work done so great. it's a challenge but an opportunity for us also. Awesome. sounds good so uh, if people have any other questions where should they contact you or visit yes. the website or yeah both of those things you can visit we have a sustainability page on the the longmont um, city government website that people can find okay my contact information is on there people are always welcome to reach out awesome sounds good well thank you very much for your time thank appreciate you. it yep